that second bike. Four brake horsepower, a lot of insulation there. Four high pressure injectors, pressures of 1800 bar, and they have more apertures so it gives off finer spray and it helps combustion. Here you've got the electro hydraulic power steering pump, which is better than a purely electric pump because it provides more feel. And according to mechanics, they say these sort of pumps actually last longer than purely electric ones. Now, for the mechanic, or the mechanically minded, the oil filter is here. I can just touch it with my, my hands. And the filter here. And there's more room around this engine bay than other Peugeots that I've tested in the past. Because it's a PAS engine and you've got a Peugeot stamp here with a Citroen stamp. Um, it is certainly more more simple. And this has got a similar performance to the old 2.7 V6, so it just gives you the indication of how diesel engines have progressed over a relatively short time period. And also, the bonnet is actually aluminium. Now we've got buttons everywhere on this Peugeot 508. We've got cruise control buttons here, which are too low, so you've got to take your eyes off the road. Also you've got this wiper stalk here and it actually conceals three buttons behind it. And also I can't see that sat nav screen with that bottle in the way. Now the satellite navigation screen works quite well once you remove the bottle that's in the way. But our problem is that we can't input postcode. Glove boxes are made for holding gloves. The tank of this fire is about 72 litres and we're possible to So excuse her. We've covered three quarters of the tank, we've travelled 500 miles, so we're thinking about 700 miles potential fuel range. So that's that. And on the trip computer it's sort of saying late 30 MPG 37-ish. As for the gears, all these options, the paddle shifting and the racing stick, I mean which, which is which. This all seems quite confusing. Of course you get overridden anyway if you don't change them properly. So a bit gimmicky. And that's Porsche Tiptronic system. As for the ergonomics, we mentioned the sat nav, we mentioned the bottle holders coming away. Very, a lot of switches, maybe they can simplify that by using a similar thing to what BMW have with the iDrive. The central cubby hole here is hinged, so it goes on one side, which is a little bit strange, as I said, for the passenger. And the fuel warning light came on with 7 litres of fuel to spare. And that's with a 72 litre tank. So we've used 65 litres of diesel. Now we've covered 665 miles. And working out the figures, 
we have achieved 47 miles per gallon overall and that's with about 50% on motorway and 50% on A road and that compares to a press figure from Peugeot of 47.8 combined which for a 200 brake horsepower car is very good so well done.